Hi, I'm Mark Cleggorn. Welcome to the Last Light School of Photography and we're out on location. Going to shoot some awesome photographs today, I promise you. Uh, we've got two amazing models with us and we're going to kind of create a little bit of a little red ride, a riding hood instead of a real wolf because our budget couldn't go to that. We're going to be using a standing model. Gareth, he's amazing and April's going to be our little red riding hood. But today is not about just shooting cool photographs. It's about showing you one of the products that I use quite a lot. It's the 8-in-1 umbrella. Now, for many of you, when you kind of look into develop your kit, it add to your kit, it's kind of a little bit of a confusion. But for an umbrella for me, as a standalone umbrella, it's a little bit kind of restricted in what it's going to do. But what I'm going to show you today is the benefits of some of the uses of the 8-in-1. The 8-in-1 gives me two reflective sur surfaces, a shoot-through option, a bounce reflection and as well as a mask option with it as well. So it's loads and loads of things that we're going to be doing. As I said, we'll try and actually show you as much as we can, but we are limited on time what we're going to do. So I'm um, going to position the model just actually into this little aperture here. And the reason I'm putting them into the aperture is just so I can subtract some of this light, uh, the lighting towards camera position. And as you can see here, what I've got set up already um, is the uh, one kind of form of the 18-1 umbrella. This is the, uh, sil uh, the silver reflective. So in other words, it's coming back. This is going to be the most efficient in return of light. Um, the white option uh, will obviously give us less return of light, but a softer quality, whereas the silver will give me a, a lot more reflectancy and a sharper style of the lighting. Why use the Broly? Well, I've basically got just the, the one light source. In other words, e even though I'm using two flashes here, they become one light source. And I'm looking for the spread. I'm looking to shoot from the top of the head down towards the feet in a natural kind of vignette way. Whereas if I use something like the mask, it would cut off and it wouldn't actually uh, kind of light down towards the floor. Um, I've got two, uh, two other lights running through. They're just bare bulbs today. They're the Elenchrom Quadras just running in the background. Uh, and they're actually giving me all my kind of light coming through. I should point out at this stage the other kind of equipment that we've got running. I've got the Lasterlight uh, Tri-Flash Sync here. Uh, even though I've only mounted two flashes on here for now, um, I've got the option to put a third one on, but I don't want to use the third one at all with it because it'll just give me too much power. Um, I've also on the front here, I've got the Strobo kit running on each one of these, and each of them has a uh, tungsten gel on the front. And the reason I'm doing that is so that um, I can create an ethereal kind of blue midnight kind of quality in the middle of the day. So the camera needs to be set onto the tungsten light quality. And the reason I do that, everything in the scene then goes blue, of course, because obviously a tungsten light is kind of correcting the orange uh, coloring that you would actually uh, associate with a tungsten bulb. So if I've done that and I kind of flash them normal white light on, onto them, the, pro the problem they're lit blue. But what I want to do is clean light them. So that's why I've put the two tungsten gels, one over each of the speed lights. So they are technically white lit where all the other uh, light in the scene, including any of the ambient light, becomes blue. There's another op option, of course, uh, but it wouldn't be as good as the effect. I could put some tungsten gels onto the background lights, and obviously that, that would create that kind of warmth and everything else. So a different kind of style dialing. But for me now, to create this kind of blue midnight figure, feeling we've got the uh, strobo kit on each of those speed lights each running with a tungsten flash they're in manual mode why because i want a consistency of flash time after time after time i know many of you use a ttl option and so on but because i'm mixing that in with other lights uh, that flash might see some of the light coming in from behind and switch itself off and that's why i want to avoid of course really so that's why we're running it in a, ma a manual mode to trigger this i've just got one elinchrom sky port which is this little baby, baby here. And that is uh, just one going into the tri-flash sink here, and that fires all three of, uh, sorry, all two of the lights in this case, or if I had a third light on there, it would fire the third as well. As far as the shutter speed game, of course, is concerned, uh, we can actually open or slow, slow down the shutter speed more to obviously uh, bring in more of the blue and the ambient light within the scene, or I can kind of shoot with a faster sh uh, shutter speed to kind of start to knock out any of the ambient light or a lot of the ambient light within the photograph. So enough about that. The reason I've gone for that sil uh, the silver option first, of course, is is because I want the light to spread. That's absolutely key. Um, so I want them to light from the head down towards the toe. Um, whereas if I use one of the other options, which we'll see la later on, it'll actually start to restrict the light where it falls and so on. So we're working today on 125th f5.6 100 ISO. I'm using the 70 to 200 lens just so I can get that good depth of field as well. And that's pretty much. Let's get on with the shot. Brilliant. Okay, looks great there. 
and again. Excellent. One more. Just go strolly, strong down there. Wicked. Look towards the light. Brilliant. Let's turn the body towards the side. Excellent. And again. Just, take, just drop the hands down, I think, just off, that's brilliant, just there. Straight back at me again. Brilliant, I, should like, I like the twist to the hips, so if that's okay, great, just I like it. Let me come in closer for a few close-ups a minute. Great character shots, those. Uh, you can see what I'm doing here. Um, I'm trying to actually get, obviously, the scene, e even though I'm putting uh, Gareth, who's the model, uh, into the kind of the middle of the frame, really I think when I crop, I'm gonna lose this left, uh, the left-hand side. Um, I haven't gone into a, por a portrait mode, in other words, in vertical mode, um, because really I, I like all this kind of hollow that's coming through here, with that fantastic light that's coming through, kind of bouncing off that bark, really starts to create the depth of the image. Okay, similar thing again, let me just hide that light in the back, uh, background. Okay, let's do it quickly. One second, let me just check it. Fantastic. Again, changing expression, wonderful. Again for me. Oh, I like that. Straight at me again, Gareth. One more. And if you can just turn your body in towards the light more for me. Step back half a step as well. You should still be in that light. And let's bring the hands up to the collar, both of them. Lower the chin, Gareth. And again, wait. And relax. Okay, let's swap little Red Riding Hood for in for a minute, please. Gareth, if you go into the background for me. Gareth, you're not in shot there, mate. Um, no, you're not. You're in shot, but it's not lit. I wonder if... I bring you, yeah, come across there to the other side of that tree, underneath fully, mate. See that back branch, the, the, tree, the tree trunk? There, you're just a sil sil silhouette. Can you lean, lean away from it? Bit sinister, love it. Beautiful. Tw turn towards the light just a little bit. Great, straight at me. And again, keep it. Cover over the white dress with the cloak more for me. So, that's brilliant. Let's, oh, there you go. Straight at me again. Straight at me, darling. Can you turn your body towards Sam? That's beautiful. Now turn the head to us. Just can, that's gorgeous there. In fact, I think we'll lose that down in one in a minute. Gareth again for me. Let's lose that uh, hood, hood down. Let's almost do a step. Now you're a little bit aware of him. So if you go back a little bit more, just a touch, that's brilliant. That's beautiful, just there, darling. Straight, lower the chin for me. And again. Can you step towards here a touch? Just a half a cent, that's brilliant, just there. And again. Just looking off towards the side a touch. Nice and relaxed. Okay, let's lose the cloak. Just thought we'd do a few shots now without the uh, red cloak on. Just take off the uh, onus of colour within composition with it. It's going to be very, very strong. I know we've got a cream kind of dress on it, but it's, uh, it's a beautiful vintage dress. Just stunning in its own right with it. And let's see if we can kind of make that a real part of the shot as well. Turn the body around towards here. And the feet as well, otherwise you'll move back. And turning the head around to us. That's gorgeous there. Let's do it. Again for me, turn the head more. It's beautiful. One more shot. I almost want a kind of a, a lean in. Do the other way round so you can turn back towards this light. That's good. Straight at me with the eyes and the head. Again. Lower the chin, darling. It's gorgeous. Look towards the floor. Keep it. Brilliant, relax. Okay, so the 18-1 umbrella here, I've just actually put the diffusion material back on again. So this is gonna be a diffuser. Now I could use this in a reflected way back again, but I don't wanna use in this point. I wanna turn, uh, turn this around to face towards April, the model, and I wanna kind of reveal the mask on the back. So the first, uh, the first thing's first, let's just turn this around. And I'm just gonna peel off the mask. 
And now I obviously need to re reposition this light now to make sure it hits the face, the most important part in my photograph. Obviously, if it was photographing for the dress, perhaps it was actually gonna have a little bit more detail lower down. Um, but in, in this case, I need to higher this, this up. So just going to re-meter um, because obviously now it's a different kind of amount of light coming through. That's giving me a full one third of a stop. So I need to re-power the speed lights behind. Remember, I'm not just adjusting one, I'm adjusting two. Five, six. So I've re-metered that to 5.6 now, and now I'm ready to do the shot. Now the difference what the mask is gonna do, it's gonna control the light spillage. It's gonna give me a slightly uh, stronger edge to light, even though it's been diffused through, it's directional now. So it's a soft directional light compared to a reflective sharp light that we're using with a brolly. Two different kind of characters, and this is where you just need to learn about the, what is the right thing. But also in here, what the mask is doing, it's gonna kind of limit what is gonna be seen by that flash. So even though they'll get a natural little bit of spill going down towards the base, the, gra uh, the gradient is gonna be much, much quicker, and the effect is gonna be stronger here than it is on the rest of the shot. Let's just do some shots. Let's just bring out the, the arms just a little bit. That's beautiful. Just looking straight at me. Almost a ghost, ghostly like. You can just turn the body fully around towards here and turn the head back to me. Let's just bring the hands behind the back. Turn the head around to me. It's beautiful, just there. Keep it. Let me just shoot the closer ups. Turn the body and the head to me just a touch more. It's beautiful. One more. Turn around to me again, square, uh, square, square on, that's be beautiful. One more for me, that's gorgeous there. Vertical shot as well a minute. One more, turn the head that way a little bit. There you go, brilliant. Gareth, you come in for me. Do you want to, uh, yeah, that's fine. If you just uh, go in the background, just around about a foot and a half behind her. He's your master soon. Come over towards here. Go Gareth, brilliance there mate, great. Just um, collar up again I think really. I'll give you a cloak now. Hands in the pockets Gareth, really kind of leaning in. So if you go back a little bit more for me Gareth. Go back, leaning in towards her. Let's do it. And again. One more. Same shot again. Lower the chin, darling. Brilliant. Beautiful. I need this surreal now, don't I? Okay, let's do it. Straight at me again. Again. Your hood again for me, please. Turn your body round towards Gareth for me. Gareth, lean in. Kind of make her yours with the, uh, use an arm across her or use your right hand behind, that's it, better, yeah. Keep it. And now just a strong kind of masculine. Again for me, keep it. Excellent. Gareth, can you go right back in the background for me? Keep it, again. And swap, and swap for me guys, please. And just looking back over this, that's great there. That's, that's the shot, mate. Really wrap up the sinister now. Cool, let's do that. Okay, that's great, let's do it. One more. And swap, and swap for me please. Turn your head around to me a little bit more. Gorgeous there. Wait for it. Keep, keep it, last shot. Gareth, if you come up in that position, I'll just do your portrait. 
turn square onto me a little bit. Whoa, there you go, brilliant. Let's do it. Done. So for the portrait shots, I decided to go with a softbox. Uh, and then this is a, another part of the eight in one. The uh, kind of little cover that comes over the brolly part allows me to, uh, again, go from either a white reflective brolly or a silver reflective brolly to create different kind of types of softbox with it. Uh, but here the zips just kind of cover over the uh, slaves and the splashes themselves. Um, so make sure if you're in TTL mode that you've got some kind of line of sight going to them, otherwise you're not going to fire. Uh, in this case, that's why I always revert to uh, the likes of a Sky, Skyport receiver here to uh, allow it to communicate over bigger dis dis distances. But the softbox, a, a great choice for any portrait. Okay, let's do it. Cover over, cover over just that between. You're gonna go with your arms really, really crossed. Turn, turn the head to be a touch. April, please. Brilliant, let's do it again. Or just, it is like a magazine ad. Let's put the hood, hood up for a few, yeah? Use both of your hands on your hood. You go backwards, need to touch. Can you swap positions for me? Turn your body around towards there. Turn more, more, more. Head, head back to me. Brilliant, let's do that. You are the villain. The bad boy. Aberyst with bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> Just there again. Again. Lower the chin, Gareth. Lower the chin, April, please. In fact, you're the sinister one. He doesn't know it. Wicked. Have a rest, guys. Great, great shots. Okay, uh, what I did there is I moved into the shoot, shoot through umbrella mode to just give a little softness to the, uh, to the light, but still a direction to the light. Um, great as well, because I'm really maximizing the power in the scene. I've still opted for two other lights 
there's accent lights running onto the sign to really separate them away from the background here. Um, but as you can see from the photograph, uh, pretty dynamic there. Um, the 81 umbrella, as I said, just gives me that versatility to allow me to change what, how I want to light them. And it's, it saves kind of having to carry along a huge amount of kit with, with, with me. Remember this 18 one umbrella will actually turn into a soft box as well to create a very, very soft source of light if I want to use it. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of quick insight into using the 18 one umbrella. Very simple to put together, very simple to take apart and obviously change its look and its feel. So remember a, a silver surface will give you a more specular use of the light, a soft light coming off a white surface, a shoot through where we're using the mask or in this case actually directly towards them will give us that strong, a stronger but still a softer use of directional flash with it and obviously if we were opting to use the softbox today it would give us a softbox quality. So I'm Mark Klugman for the Last Light School of Photography. I'm going to carry on with these great models out on the location and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.